Have you ever looked closely at any corporate sustainability report? Did you notice any similarities in almost all the charts? These corporate sustainability charts all tend to have the same look and feel. That look and feel is tied to the predominant business sustainability strategy of reducing, avoiding, and minimizing something the company no longer wants to be associated with and decides it wants to move away from. The chart looks something like this. The vertical or y-axis is, is the thing you want to reduce or eliminate in your stated goal. And the horizontal or x-axis is the time horizon you predict for the change. So maybe you aim to reduce or eliminate your company's number of emissions of something over the next, say, five years. The problem with this chart is that graphically speaking, the negative item that you want to reduce should, graphically speaking, be below the x-axis. So the chart should actually be inverted and look like this. Firstly, we've been charting our progress upside down, but at least the vector is now positive up and to the right. Okay, so we flip the axis, what else becomes apparent? As we look at the new chart, we can see why the goal is zero appears to be a common end goal. And of course, it's great when we achieve, for example, zero toxins in our products. Although I could ask why they were there in the first place, or perhaps even a net zero carbon emissions to the atmosphere goal, assuming we can agree on a methodology and scope to track and measure that. For me, achieving zero isn't the most motivating goal, although I can see it represents an important inflection or transition point to aim for. Secondly, and I think more importantly, We've been missing half of the chart, and that means missing half of the business opportunity. Now that we see we've been looking at things upside down, we can now pay attention to the missing half of the chart, which is working to create positive or beneficial outcomes. In other videos, I'll talk more about precision in the use of language and communications. But for now, remember this. When most people speak of impacts, the assumption is almost always that it's a negative impact we're talking about. It's time to set this assumption aside. And remember that impacts can be positive as well as negative. And this is why we find more and more people are talking about regeneration, a positive outcome in relation to sustainability. Now the question turns to what we can do to make the world a better place because we're here living and working on Earth a positive or beneficial goal. If you're feeling stuck in a small or mid-sized business, if you like the idea of creating a more sustainable business, brand, product, or service, but you don't know where or how to get started, I really understand the problems that you're facing. Subscribe to my Sustainability TV channel so you don't miss new videos and watch these short informative videos on business sustainability that most closely match your situation and interests. If something resonates with you, if you're uncomfortable staying stuck in an unsustainable place, then reach out to me. You can easily find me on LinkedIn by searching on my name, Kenneth Holston.